My name is Franz. I'm from Sweden, Stockholm. I started off with uh, bug hunting actually four years ago. I work with a company doing security actually. So we're doing monitoring security services, automatic stuff. And I use bug hunting as a research platform to actually find new vulnerabilities that we can automate so we can make our product better. So it's a win-win because the company that I find vulnerabilities for, they get to patch those vulnerabilities, I get bug bounty and the company gets intel about new vulnerabilities. So it's a triple win and um, yeah, and I love the, the community and the security community in general because it's awesome people. People are respecting that a lot also, which is interesting. Like they have huge respect for people that is actually trying to make the world a better place. Like that's actually what we're doing. Um, and we're doing it like a company at a time or a platform at a time, but we're actually doing something good. My background is that I'm a software developer. So my, my, what I do on the days is basically building stuff. And I see bug bounty as giving proof to other people that you can break their stuff. And that combination for me is, is invaluable. I love APIs, so I'm, I've been, like, as a software developer, I've always been, like, building stuff to APIs. So I know a lot on how to break those APIs also. Uh, and I really love when there's, like, complexity into the application, like, when the application is deep, so to speak. So uh, imagine having like you, uh, users with objects and the objects as relations, like that's when it starts to get interesting for me because I tend to look often at that structure of the application and also like different access levels, permission stuff. That is like when it gets interesting. Personally for me, like finding bugs is like, it's, it's a bit sad because somebody missed something out. Like you, you get to like see the, the sad parts of a company. Like if the developers are not educated well enough, you find a lot of bugs and that, that is maybe good for you, but you, you feel that sad state that they've missed those stuff, or those stuff or they haven't really paid attention to certain stuff. So for me, it's like a negative thing, also positive, of course, but having that combination also trying to build your own stuff is, is extremely important to me. So I have this, like, if, if you look at the curve for me, it's like I'm going up and down all the time. So I can be away for a few weeks and then I can be in it for, for three weeks, like, full time. So it, it differs a lot to, uh, for me and, like, I, I, I've heard in the community that, that that's happened a lot. What I like as soon as a new program launches or, or when a company starts off with this is that they've probably realized that that um, people will go different ways to it. And what I mean with that is that I realized that you, like if, if you compare it to the old pen testing industry, what, what happened when doing pen tests was that you knew, like this, this is the amount of time people are gonna spend because that's what we're charging or we're paying for. And so we're gonna limit that to a, this specific amount of, of, of scope. And when, with bug bounty, it not always means that like, they will do the same approach. So I think that like, the skill set is like, you don't want to form all the people to do the exact same thing. You can inspire them into think about how like, all the different approaches security people or like bug bounty hunters or finders or whatever uh, do stuff because there's not one profile of how people approach something. They're like infinity, um, like infinite amount of, of different ways of doing it. So what you can do is that you can inspire them to realize that, to realize their own potential into into approach something, uh, and by showing different profiles on how different people attack something or realize that something is insecure. Feedback is awesome. So as soon as you start talking with people or blogging about stuff that you find, you always get feedback back. Bad or good doesn't matter. It's like you always get the, the info back about if it was a good thing that you blogged about or a bad thing or whatever. Like so, so feedback is a cool thing. And also like everybody shares. I've seen, I've seen my skills and my like performance in the bug bounty being like improved by sharing, which is awesome. 
Uh, we've been trying out like working in teams, for example, and that's that's super powerful. Like that's when the magic happens. Like you find a thing, somebody else knows what to do with it, and then w as soon as that works, you you know what to do with it. Like this collaboration thing is like awesome. So people are touching that right now, like starting to involve each other. Some of us are like doing it by by heart like already like it, it's 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 in your reflexes almost so um that's that's a cool thing and like you learn a lot uh, from the other people as well like you can you can like read every week you can read like 50 new blog entries and you can learn so much and that happens every week every day like you can learn new stuff so everything is just about like trying to structure everything in your brain and trying to understand the community because the community is providing so much data to you you can actually you can become really good just by listening lurking people are like tend to be really open if you got questions and stuff and like watching how other people interact will probably make you more more like adapting to how they are actually talking with each other like it's super humble uh, way of doing it like people are actually pretty really nice to each other I've learned a lot being here meeting all the people so it's not, it doesn't necessarily mean that you go around and think that you know everything you don't know anything <laughs> you don't know shit <laughs> always try to like think outside the box it's really easy to say it's super hard to do like I have a hard time also doing it but just like re like realizing I've seen some really good uh, reports just because the people actually really understood what the company actually was scared of there because like people tend to focus a lot on like the tech the tech stack like Apache oh I'm gonna find a vulnerability in Apache but it doesn't necessarily have to me like be that that it's the most severe thing there's so many like logical things that that can actually be abused that is like a thousand percent more worse than than their like their tech stack